Good morning everyone and welcome to the week 10 St. Cath's weekly catch up. Uh, my name is Erin Laguna and I'm the Assistant Principal for Learning and Teaching here at St. Cath's. So an exciting week ahead um, for us all in week 10 but just a quick recap on what happened last week. So we took a year 7 and 8 team down to Morani for the Reader's Cup Challenge. Those kids had a great time with other students, other, other students who are keen readers and like-minded students um, to, to try out a, a different kind of extracurricular activity. We've got our year 9 and 10 students heading down early in term 3 um, so they will be looking forward to that. Of course on Thursday we had our year 12 formal which was a wonderful event. Great to see um, those students just dressed to the nines and looking their best and such an important celebration and rite of passage for those students. Check out our Facebook page for some amazing photos, particularly those winter sunsets uh, and they just look absolutely spectacular. So this week, um, a big week for all things transition this week, but firstly today our primary students will be participating in a care group focused on the Be Kinder charity. So Billy Kinder was an ex-student at St Catharines and, and her family have set up a beautiful um, charity focused on kindness and obviously um, things like over overcoming bullying and mental illness. Our students will be filling in these beautiful cards in care groups this afternoon and um, you know watch out for those they could come home in uh, the school bag this afternoon. We also have Run Club Tuesday and Thursday this week so um, get your students along to that from 8 o'clock on the primary oval. On Wednesday we've got our year 10 into 11 information night. Um, so on that day the students will be hearing from some of our senior teachers all about the subject areas they might be interested in. From six till seven our parents are invited in for a really important information session um, all about ATARs, pathways etc um, and it's really starting a uh, time for those students to start having a, a really important think about where uh, their schooling is headed so please come along to that from six o'clock in our um, 13 and 14 classroom. On Thursday we have another transition day so this time our year six into seven so transition day, those students um, are invited over to the college um, and will rotate around some curriculum lessons. They're also then invited to stay um, after three o'clock for some activities and then from five o'clock our parents are invited to come in, share a barbecue dinner, have a tour and then an information session will kick off at six. Uh, we have all our St Catherine students coming over but we're also welcoming our St Mary's students from Bowen and many other students from around the area. So if you are interested in coming along, um, please don't hesitate to contact the office. If your student is in year six at St. Cath's, please just RSVP and let us know that you're coming along. We wanna make sure we've got enough steak burgers for everyone. Um, so it would be much appreciated if, if you do contact us, the classroom teacher, the office, um, those messages will get to us. Um, Friday will be our NAIDOC day. Um, so Mrs. Goslink, our Indigenous education teacher, um, along with her support crew will be um, organising a very important day of recognition in NAIDOC um, and a, a wonderful way to finish the week. And just before we say goodbye for the term, um, a big shout out to our boys and girls quiz and teams that are heading to Mackay on Sunday. So um, those games will be held at the Mackay Basketball Stadium. So if you are down in Mackay next week, please go and um, support. We've got heaps of games happening on um, every day. And thank, a big thanks to Mr Laguna, to Miss Kay and to Mr Spencer who will be down there with those, those teams. Good luck St Cats. Everyone, Al, uh, we've had a huge term, so please enjoy the end of semester break. Stay safe if you are travelling away and um, re stay rested. We look forward to welcoming students back uh, in, in week one next term.